Hello everyone and welcome to Locking's Pick of the Week. My name is Shakarez and each week we'll be highlighting a champion that we think is really strong in the current meta, whether its popularity comes from ranked games, competitive play, or even both. This week we take a look at Graves, played in the jungle. While his rework didn't result in immediate popularity, he's currently one of the hottest picks in both ranked games and competitive matches, in both the jungle and even in top lane. In the jungle, Graves has a very average clear speed in the early game. However, his ability to kite jungle monsters with the knockback from his auto attacks make his jungle sustain very strong. As you get more items, your clear speed becomes faster and faster, however from level 1 to 3 you are slower than some junglers. His Q, end of the line, is his main damage ability and works best in the jungle, where terrain will guarantee detonation and instant extra physical damage, making him a very good clearer and duelist. Quick Draw gives Graves extra mobility and extra resistances, making him a more bruiser-esque type champion when compared to other marksmen. It also reloads one shell so it can increase your DPS and avoid as many reloads. The trick to maximize this is to shoot one, then quick draw, then shoot your two remaining bullets. What you're seeing on your screen right now is an example of an early game Graves jungle clear. If you want to watch the full video, you can click on the annotation now or at the end of the video. What's important to retain is that your ability combo on most camps should be auto, Q, auto, E, auto, reload, all while moving to avoid being hit. When ganking, Graves doesn't offer a lot of crowd control apart from smokescreen, so he's a bit dependent on red buff and extra crowd control from his laners, but he can burst down a target extremely fast. Whenever you gank, it's important to always look to use end of the line in order to hit terrain for extra burst damage. If it doesn't hit any terrain, you give your opponent time to react and move out of the shell's damage zone. In teamfights, you usually want to look for opportunities to hit opponents using your Q, end of the line, on terrain as mentioned before. You should look for opportunities to go on the front line to deal the maximum damage possible, using your quick draw to reposition when needed. For runes, you want to focus on having a setup that helps you survive and clear the jungle, with attack damage marks, armor seals, 6 flat cooldown and 3 magic resistance glyphs, and attack speed quintessences. Taking flat cooldown isn't mandatory, so you can run full magic resistance if you're playing against a lot of magic damage, but usually resistances from quick draw will be enough. For masteries, you want to run 12, 18, 0, focusing mainly on getting all the extra damage points you can. Thunderlord's Decree should be your keystone mastery as you really want to maximize your burst in fights. For items, you want to start with a Hunter's Machete and a Refillable Potion. You can start with 3 health potions as well, but you don't really need it as you have a very healthy clear. After this, you should focus on building your Warrior Enchantment and your Boots. For the jungle item, you can choose between Skirmisher's Saber for better dueling potential or Tracker's Knife for vision control. Your Boots should almost always be Boots of Swiftness. While Graves is still a marksman, he needs the extra mobility to be able to get up close and personal and auto attack as not only his range is limited, but also his shotgun pellets can be blocked if another target is in front of you. After Warrior and Boots, what you get next will really depend. Sterex Gauge is going to be a part of your build in most, if not all games. It's the perfect item for Graves as it gives him a mix of defense and offense, and the health and shield given synergize well with your quick draws passive that gives you resistances. It also allows him to get close to targets and not risk getting blown up by opponents. Hex Drinker and its upgrade Maw of Malmortius should be your designated item for magic resistance. Again, another item with a perfect mix of offensive and defensive stats that also gives you armor penetration. Alongside Sterax, it should make you deceptively tanky and hard to burst down. Other than those two items, Rapid Fire Cannon and Yumu's Ghostblade should be your other offensive items as they give you stats that Graves wants. Ghostblade will give you an extra attack speed and movement speed steroid, apart from all the attack damage and armor penetration it gives, while Rapid Fire Cannon is an item that gives Graves an auto attack from higher range. The item also gives Graves extra burst to its passive, and the attack speed translate into a shorter time reloading pellets. Then there are multiple situational items that you can choose depending on your need or how the game goes, but the ones mentioned above should be the ones you pick up most oftenly. And now for tips, and this can't be stressed enough, but always try to find opportunities to use your Q on terrain. A reminder that this will also work with champion created terrain like Trundle's Pillar of Ice. Auto attacks reduce quick draws cooldown. Each pellet that hits an enemy reduces the cooldown by 0.5 seconds, up to 2 seconds if you hit all the pellets. So the more opponents you hit, the more mobile you can be. Smokescreen has a near sight debuff, meaning it will reduce the opponent's vision while inside it. 
You want to use this mainly on choke points to force opponents to walk over it. It's an extremely useful tool to deny vision and impede an opponent from attacking until they move out of the area of effect. Collateral damage will knock you back, so remember to use this to your advantage. If you're running, you can use this to gain distance and even go over some walls. That's going to be all for this week. If you enjoyed this week's video, be sure to leave a like and leave a comment telling us what champion you'd like to see next.